Over the 25 years, the number of international tourists has more than doubled. The expansion of international tourism has a large impact on the discipline of transport geography. In a fast-changing aviation world where privatization, alliances, and increased competition are global realities, Airlines still need to cooperate in order to offer a seamless product of the highest possible standard. Much of that cooperation is expressed through IATA or IATA. So what is IATA? International Air Transport Association or IATA is a trade association of the world's airlines founded in 1945. IATA has been described as a cartel since, in addition to setting technical standards for airlines. IATA supports airline activity and helps formulate industry policy and standards. From 57 founding members in 1945, IATA now represents some 290 airlines in 120 countries. Carrying 82% of the world's air traffic, IATA members include the world's leading passenger and cargo airlines. It is headquartered in Canada and the city of Montreal with executive offices in Geneva, Switzerland. The mission and significance of IATA IATA aims at providing a good and efficient service for both passengers and airline companies. IATA strives to ensure that people, freight, and mail move around the global airline network easily and that members' aircraft operate safely, securely, efficiently, and economically under clearly defined and understood rules. Furthermore, they help simplify the traveling process and the promotion and development of tourism, and also give a hand to the government to formulate civil aviation policy or pay tourism policy. IATA recently announced the launch of the IATA Travel Pass a digital platform for passengers. Despite mounting losses, the industry focus is on how travel can restart at scale when borders are finally reopened and huge pent-up demand is released. According to IATA Director General Alexander D. Juniak, he said that they need a plan for the recovery and that they will need a way to digitally manage health credentials and secure global standards to record test results and vaccinations. IATA said its travel pass, which will formally launch at the end of March, will help to facilitate travel by putting COVID-19 test results and vaccine certificates in one digital format, speeding up check-in process. D. Juniak said he is hopeful the recovery will happen in the second half of 2021.